Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ryan of Darwin Design here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video, I'm going to be going over how to make designs like an NFL team. This is the second video in the series. Uh, for today's episode, we're going to be going over the Los Angeles Rams. So I went over to their socials and pulled the design I thought was just good looking and complex. And I gave it a go at recreating it. And um, I'm going to just break down the PSD a little bit. And the PSD will be linked in the description down below so you guys can play with it yourself. So I'm going to just go ahead and start off with the background. Uh, I got my hex colors here. Nothing crazy, just like a pull from. Uh, this back text, I was just recreating, so you can see here in their design. Um, they had, it looks like letters, so I tried to use letters. I got like a gothic type font. Uh, let me see, this one is called Old English Text. Um, and I threw a drop shadow on it, because they use drop shadows throughout the design, as you can see, to get that shading. And then um, I made a second layer to add more depth and all this is is a layer mask so it doesn't overlap because it's on color dodge it's, so that layer or so that blending mode would cause it to to overlap and get brighter so i was trying to keep the colors down so that's all that is um and then i selected uh both texts made a layer mask with that so i could add shading that it looks like it's underneath the text to create more depth and then i just added a regular gold rectangle at the bottom uh so that's where we're at there these rectangles are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I mean, this group is just all the pictures of the players. And so I have two uh, layers in here. One's the shape of the rectangle, and then one is the actual picture. So uh, all I did for this is, I'll show you all what the layer mask is. Um, basically, this rectangle here is just a basic outline, and then I just control click the layer, and then click right here, and it'll make a layer mask, which means it only shows up in that rectangle. Um, I'll delete this because you can see what I did to create like some depth is I added pieces over the top. So his helmet stuck out and his glove stuck out. And then for Aaron Donald, his helmet, um, Ernest Jones, his helmet, his glove at the bottom, his arm, etc. You guys kind of get the point. But I uh, just added little things like so if, for example, if Ashawn Robinson's elbow went off the border here, I probably would have selected that. And all I have to do to do that. I use Aaron Donald for an example is just I got my pen tool and I just would outline his helmet ha, da, da, and then press fill path right click fill path and then match the color you have on here so since it's white I would want to make my foreground white fill path and then I'll add to it you can see it has a bit here if I flip the color to black I can erase it so that's that layer masks are super important so learn to use them uh, text is pretty simple I mean there's not too much to explain here just try to find similar fonts. Uh, they're not obviously the exact same, but I just gave it a go. <laughs> so the seven is just there, nothing much to it. There's a little drop shadow on it. Uh, this shadow here, I went underneath Ashawn Robinson's hand and just try to create some depth by having it overlap the seven, because you can see that's what uh, they did with the helmet. Sax text is just regular text. The font is Chronicle Display. You can see all the font info uh, if, if you download the PSD. So. Uh, and then this is just subtext rectangles. That's just the name. So uh, nothing much there. This text up top, Super Bowl record tying. Um, to get that little space between the text, press Control A. It'll select all your text and go to properties. And this is the tracking. So it's basically just horizontal spacing between the text. So the larger the number, the more spaced out the text. And the smaller the number, the uh, closer together it will be. So I spaced it out to 350 because I felt it was similar to theirs. Um, but that's what that does and that's how you get some uh, text spacing there logos up top nothing much here I mean I did these in my library you could be my last video for more info on that but just threw them on uh, these are all the RAM stuff so you don't have to do anything there apart from adding a color overlay which is just that yellow so everything uh, appears yellow so just right click uh, blending options color overlay and it's on darken similar to theirs as you can see so that's that uh, and then I just added some subtle color cor color correction. Uh, just color lookups is all I use. So just adjustment panel, color lookup, and then go in here and get whatever you like. These three here, the ones labeled EJD, are from Ethan J Designs Pack. Um, so that's what that is. The Kodak one should be default. Added a selective color group too. That's also in your adjustment layer. This will help you get accurate colors or colors that you want. So go through here and you can play with these four uh, sliders and then go for all colors, red, yellow, green, da, 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 all the way down the uh, down the line and get whatever colors you're looking for out the design, out of the pictures. 
threw a little shading on the sides to match theirs and a little noise uh threw it on screen lower the opacity and boom that's that so that's pretty much all i got for today's video want to keep it pretty quick because the psd will be in the description uh you guys can go ahead and download it get a deeper look and uh, play with it yourselves if you want to so that's pretty much all i got for today's video i appreciate you guys for watching uh if you have any comments questions concerns whatever leave them in the comments or hit me on my socials they're always in the description and uh yes yeah, so i'm gonna catch you all in the next one peace out